It's a huge adrenaline rush. This is really an extreme sport now. It's exhilarating, but, you know, I'd be lying if you, there aren't times when you're really, you know, you're sort of gripped on quite tight. The first thing you notice when you do go foiling is that everything goes quiet. And it's a little bit eerie. Foiling and sailing is where the, the boat lifts out of the water using a horizontal plane on the centreboard and rudder. With the AC-72, you, you lift the whole hull out of the water and it's just a lot less drag and a lot faster. The fact that these seven and a half ton, 72 foot boats jump out of the water and do 50 miles an hour, I mean, it still blows my mind. The mechanics to operate the foils to keep the boat stable has changed enormously from non-foiling to foiling. Uh, it effectively, it's become an airplane. When you first take off to foil, the first thing you feel is the acceleration as the boat comes out of the water in terms of you move forwards faster. The transition between being in the water and out the water isn't the biggest change. The change is how much the boat accelerates. You're controlling the foiling from the steering wheel. So that's basically the power source. If the rate's not right, then the boat's not foiling or it's foiling at the wrong height. And, um, and that, that makes a huge difference to how quickly the boat's going. The feeling is that the boat gets lighter and everything gets less noisy just because, you know, the splash of the water into the hull is not there anymore. The boat is not as steady as when it's in the water. You are relying on two meter square surface instead of uh, a 70 foot long hull. Keep these boats on the foil steadily and then maneuver while you're foiling. Yeah, it takes a huge amount of coordination and good systems to control the foils and wing to get through a jibe or a tech nicely. As soon as it pops up, the boat wants to skid sideways a bit. It gets a little bit off balance. And once you get your rhythm after 15 seconds or so, then it goes like another five or 10 knots faster. And you know, that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of design time and engineering that goes into these boats. Um, you know, the foils that we're flying around on these days are uh, right on the limit of strength, yet um, weight. These things are just sitting up on an incredibly small section of uh, carbon fibre. The level of development and horsepower that we can generate in an America's Cup campaign means we've probably advanced in the space of um, two years with the AC-72 as much as we've had over the previous 20 years. This cup cycle, I mean, it's, it's bigger, it's bolder, it's faster. We're regularly up and uh, over the 45 knot barrier. Is that the fastest they're gonna go? I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think we even start scratching the surface.